I think um, oncology is going to be, um, and cancer care in general, is going to be at the forefront of the transformation of healthcare in general. The medicine is going to, practice of medicine is going to change more in the next 20 years than it changed in 100 years. We have made a significant progress since the uh, uh, war on cancer in the early 70s with a dramatic drop in the mortality, at least by one third. On the other hand, there's still a lot of challenge in cancer with an increase of cancer incidence that is predicted as per the American Cancer Society, 45% increase in the next 20, 25 years. There's still a lack of screening because early cancer always does better. 90, 95% of the patient uh, who have a very early form of cancer will survive, and that's very important. So what every patient wants is what's my best option? What's the best sequence of care? So that means have data analytics, precision medicine, immunotherapy, and combine this to try to customize a treatment for every patient. Harnessing the immune system is not something new. This has been done a hundred years ago, where they were actually infecting tumors with bacteria to generate an immune response because they had noticed that actually it would make the tumor regress. The real leapfrog in immunotherapy came from a better understanding of immune response regulation and what dampens the immune response. And by understanding on how the tumor plays with this and blocks the immune system and puts a break, we were able to design drugs that actually unleash the immune system and remove the break. And that's called checkpoint inhibitors, one of the examples. The other one is called BITE, which is bispecific. It's an antibody structure, not really an antibody, but a molecule that bridges the T cells and the tumor cells. CAR T cell is also a form of this. CAR T cell is making cells of the patient, manufacturing the receptor, and putting the receptor in the cells to force the cells go after the cancer cells. All of this is to restore the normal ability of the immune system and to amplify this immune response to go after cancer. Why immunotherapy is very important? It's really critical because it shows response in patients who have failed all standard therapy. If you look at CAR T cell, in aggressive lymphoma, the sub median survival of patients who have failed the standard of combination of chemotherapy and uh, rituximab, for example, is in a few months at most. Now we can cure up to 40% of the patients with CAR T cells. So we have patients that used to be sent to hospice that we can cure now with, ad with advanced disease. And that's the power of immunotherapy because once you reset the immune system, you don't have to continue to treat. The immune system takes care of it. And that's what the beauty of it. So that's why I believe this is going to be the foundational um, backbone of the future of cancer care.